guys welcome back to my channel so I know I'm looking a bit crazy but forgive that so today <laughs> today I'm going to be doing a video that has been highly requested by you guys and that is how I turn this hair into something that looks presentable and basically it's just a wash and go genuinely there's nothing more I do to it it's not it's not something crazy, a strict regimen, it's just how I style it. So I just thought I'd show you guys. So if you want to see how I normally get my good hair looks, just keep on watching this video. So my hair is already washed and conditioned. I just did not feel like I needed to do that on camera. But I do use the Cantu line of products and Shea Moisture. Though Shea Moisture has been having a bit of controversy, but I do like their curling cream, so I'm gonna use it. But um, yeah, so for Cantu, I use a moisturizing cream shampoo, and this thing is really good. It lathers really well, and it just leaves your hair feeling so clean and fresh, and it's good for your hair, especially if you have natural hair. And then I go in with my Complete Conditioning Co-Wash, and this just helps. It's like a... It's like a cleanser for your hair, which removes all the product buildup. It nourishes your hair, moisturizes it, so it's a really good thing to have. And then once I rinse both of those out, I go in with my Cantu, Cantu Argan Oil Leave-In Conditioning Cream. And you're not supposed to dip condition with this. Really, I see people leaving it in their hair most of the times, but I just... I deep condition with it because it is a repair cream so I normally just lather it all over my hair generously and then I put in a shower cap and stay with it for an hour 30 minutes to an hour and once that's done I get this so now I'm going to be showing you guys how to move from here and it's actually quite simple so I'm going to be doing Mickey Mouse ears <laughs> that's what we're calling this tutorial I know I know I know. So I'm just going to section my hair and get my style. Bum, 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 bum. I used to think natural hair was such a bother because I, I don't know. It's just hard to maintain. It requires a lot of special care and attention. So I've always preferred to have weaves in. But genuinely, ever since I've had my hair out, it's just been... Uh, it's been like... It's sort of someone setting you free, do you understand? Does that make sense? I don't know. But I just feel so liberating and I can wash my hair whenever I want. I could wash my hair with the weave as well, but I just think that having it free just gives you a bit more freedom. So now I'm going to take two rubber bands. Probably you should use hair ties if you have some, but I don't. Take a brush and I just brush that out. I should tie this hair section because it's going to get in my way. Oh, so cute. So cute. Then I'm just combing this. Once that's done, I know it's not looking anything special yet. I just grab all this hair very tightly. As tight as you can, but not so tight that you cannot breathe. I'm actually going to leave two... two I'm going to leave two hair pieces out. I really hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So then I just put in my rubber band. Very tightly. Right. And then space that out. I mean spread that out. Then it's time to deal with a section of hair. So as I said, I just use some leave-in repair cream and that normally does it for me. But if I feel that I need extra moisture, I go in with my Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Conditioner. And it just adds a bit of moisture to me. It doesn't really super define my curls because the cream already does that. It's okay. But I just apply this especially to the front section. I like having them fall to my face. I take them and I just twist them into two. So, nothing special really. And I like it very long, so I go all the way. So, as you can see, the sides are not that laid. 
and I like them being extra, extra, extra laid. So I just take some shea butter and apply it to my edges really. And don't worry about it looking a bit yellow. Your hair will absorb all that shea butter, your edges will thank you. Just smooth that in into your edges. So that's it for this video guys, that is how you achieve these two Mickey Mouse buns. It's quite easy and I do love to wear this style a lot, especially to school. I just think it looks playful and fun and once in a while you just need to let your inner child out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, as usual, do give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below. That way I will see you in my next video. Till then, bye! Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's gonna go in my video.